What is going on, my fellow Kansas? How y'all doing? Hopefully you're having a fantastic day, night, whenever you're watching this. However, greatly appreciate it if you could smash that like button, turn post notifications on so you don't miss out. I'm getting back into the grind here. I know I've been saying that from a bit, but I'm locked in now for real. However, Libra, Aquarius, and Scorpio, I uploaded those for the week ahead for love and romance. And that's what this video is for sun, moon, and rising cancers let's see what's going down i do a spin the wheel and then see what's the sign that comes up so let's see what's in the cards for you hello cancer what what kind of burden and weight are you carrying why, why are you doing this to yourself Ooh, the sar card you gotta put that whatever is in the past leave it be you gotta accept it move on and hold yourself accountable and take responsibility. A lot of people are afraid to do that. And tempers at the bottom of the deck, just throwing that in. You know, was it really organic? Was it really allowing you to be your true self and express your love and be truly expressive, liberated, and be in your truest form and giving that love? Was it there? No, because I feel like it's this burden and weight energy that you're carrying and you feel like it's coming to a close that you're starting to realize like a major moment like hey the universe is just like hey hello <laughs> hello cancer what you gonna do about the situation that's what that's what i'm getting and i and i know trust me <clears throat> but i feel like there's something that you're not paying attention to rather this person is giving you the silent treatment or you are giving them the silent treatment i feel like there's something else that you're not paying attention to though that is a beautiful divine gift from the God, the universe, the higher power, whatever you want to call it, whatever religion. Something that you're not paying attention to that is able to allow you to be your truest self and have that connection with somebody. And wow, the four of wands here at the bottom of the deck, that beautiful foundation of security, the solid communication, the reciprocation is there. You know what I'm saying? Well, let's continue this. Let's see what's going on here, huh? What is it? Bam. Ooh. Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, Cancers. You might not be you not you might not be paying attention to the person that you least expect it. That it could be. And whatever I was in my mind I was saying spiritual advice, but I didn't say it out loud. However, don't be trying to save somebody or you deciding to let things be as if you're not aware of the truth to get out of whatever situation you're going through but this person knows what they're doing so don't be don't be allowing them to play you like a fool here okay because wow justice at the bottom too cancer got y'all got an important decision to make here for the week ahead for your love and romance and you better not be trying to save any captain save a hoe energy is not allowed here this is what i call that captain save a hoe and there's no need for that you know what I'm saying? You can easily smug out of this energy if it's you allowing yourself to feel trapped. You're free to step out into the beautiful, abundant love, life, love life that you deserve. Sorry, my brain just collapsed as the card fell. A few cards fell. This is the only card that fell upright, though. You got plenty of options. You got plenty of options, don't you, Cancer? Little did you know. But you know what? That's one more card. That's terrible reading, I feel like, but I feel like someone needs to hear this. All over the place, you know what I'm saying? I need to get back into the momentum. I wasn't feeling good last night, but, well, today, but I'm better now. So here we are. Let's see. Wow, the justice came right back up with the world card. Cancer, you got a very important decision to make here. It is going to bring you to the world that is waiting for you. And that's for your love life ahead for this week. And I greatly appreciate you, Cancer. And I'm a Cancer as well. So don't be don't be in your ego. Don't be in your shell. Don't be afraid to love. Don't be afraid to give love and receive love, regardless of your zodiac sign. But that's the message for Cancer. So I hope you have a fantastic day, night, wherever you are. And stay blessed as always. And I'll see you in the next video for whoever comes up on the wheel. Peace.